I've got many friends who were marine scientists, who are leading marine scientists. I knew them as young people. I helped them in the early days of their, of their studies. And the scientists of the future are those little kids running around in a playground at school. Our future with the sea is out on the playgrounds of our schools. And I thought, well, since every school's got a football field, every school's got playing grounds, every school's got a library, they are naturally accepted as amenities you have to have. We're on a planet which is two-thirds water. Hey, we need, we need a marine reserve with an access daily travel of every school in the world. And so, I call them wet libraries. Set up, originally the, 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 the drive for marine reserves were, was scientific. So I say, I have my five bobs worth there, sure. Where are your scientists right now? And how are they ever going to become marine scientists if they can't experience at an early age a fully intact bit of the sea where everything's still there untouched where all the linkages are there all the nice stories about what this does with that one and how this one helps that one and how this one feeds on all those wonderful stories are all there for them to assimilate when they go to the and they come back to school and, and they can do paintings about it write stories about it they've got to get that charge that enthusiasm that direct contact with a marine reserve.